So what happens in reality during registration and that, that's similar to the attach, for example, in the 4G, the UE sends what we call a requested NSSAI. The NSSAI, it's actually the network slice selection assistant information. And from the name, network slice selection assistant information. That's what assists the network to assign the right slice for this UE, UE the user equipment. And the term requested, when you say the term requested, it almost comes from a UE. People working on the mobile know the term requested is uh, like means it's coming from the UE. So the UE sends, say guys, I, I, I'm requesting myself to, to be in a certain slice and I give, I, I'm showing in the, the NSSI structure. So it includes the SST, uh, slice service type and slice description. So that, that actually some 32 bits that describe which slice that I belong to. The request goes to the G node B or the, or the 5G RAN. So this, this information, the NSSI can be used as, as, a, as a factor in RAN selection to which AMF, okay, to which AMF should this UE uh, be served. So let's say that, okay, that the RAN were able to convey the message to the AMF, okay. <coughs> and now the AMF, got the registration request from the UE. Third thing it does, it go to the UDM, similar to HHS in 4G, and ask the UDM for, please tell me what is the sub subscribed NSSI for this UE. So this UE is allowed to use which slices, okay? For example, if, if I want a slice five, but the only allowed subscribe for me is three and four, then my, my request will be rejected, okay? So I check from the UDM, AMF checks from the UDM, which uh, NSIs are subscribed for this uh, AMF. Next up, for some reasons, if, if the AMF itself cannot serve this slice, or for example, the UE requested a certain slice like five, and the AMF is not the one serving this slice, so it can consult the NSSF, network slice selection function, that please tell me which AMF should, should serve this UE. But if I am the one who is serving this UE, then I will not go and consult the NSF. So at that stage, at least for that stage, we know now which AMF, okay, serve this UE. Either I am the AMF uh, serving the UE and because of the NSI that I'm serving, or I consulted the NSF to get the exact AMF that I'm go that going to, to send the UE. And then the last thing that I go to the PCF, like the PCRF, and then I get something called network slice selection policy. What is network slice selection policy? That, that's a very nice term. Me as a UE, I can have multiple slices. I can have multiple slices, can go to eight, for example. So which application or which traffic goes to which slice? And for example, if I, if I am a UE, I'm doing uh, a voice and I'm doing, sorry, I'm doing a video and I'm doing uh, a normal traffic. Maybe video can go to slice two and traffic can go to slice five. So what, what, what governs that is actually the network slice selection policy by PCF. It instructs the AMF to which uplink, to which slice, which traffic should go, okay? So at that stage on the registration, I finish the call flow by being able to dedicate this AMF for the UE. Now we know that UE in slice five is served by this AMF. So what is, what is left? What is left is actually when the UE is trying to establish a session a PDU to assign the right SMF and UPF to this UE. And that happens in the PDU session establishment. That's a, sub, a post process after registration. UE send a PDU session establishment request. I, as a UE, I want to do a session. And that goes to the AMF. Now the AMF it, it is, is in doubt because it wants, it wants to select the right SMF for this UE the SMF that exists on the slice assigned for this UE. So it goes, it goes again to, NS, uh, to NSF and ask NSF, please, I need to select the SMF. So NSF, as you see, the, it replies with NRF for service selection. NRF in a very simple definition, maybe it's not a, a really right one, but I, I, I can use it. NRF, you can consider it as a DNS. So NSF instruct the AMF, please go to NRF with, with the slice indication 
and then NRF will give you the right SMF to serve this customer. And that happens after consulting the NRF. So AMF can, can easily now select the SMF and then SMF with the same logic, it goes to NRF and as per the standard with the, with the slice ID or the, the NSSAI, it can select the UPF. So UPF now is selected. So you see that AMF, SMF, UPF selection can be based on the slicing information. So it's, it's, it's there is a framework in the standards to select the slice for the UE, either it's AMF, SMF, UPF, based on slice information. Is this the last thing? No, there is a very uh, detailed point that when I say RAN, for example, RAN in 5G, that's the G node B, but the G node B in reality, it, it, it consists of, of a CU and DU, right? Central unit and distributed unit. And the CU, they have, they, there can be multiple CU user plane. So in, in reality, there are multiple CU user plane can serve or can exist in one G node B. So what happens in, in reality or in, as, as the end of this call flow, when the UPF send, uh, send like some sort of positive outcome to SMF, to AMF, in, in, the, in, in the process to AMF, in the message called initial context setup request, in this message, there is a slice information. There is a slice information. So even the RAN, even the RAN can do a user plane selection of the C CPUP based on slice. This means theoretically, you can have a slice that consists of C user plane, CP user plane of the RAN, AMF, SMF, and UPF. That was just a high level animated diagram on how you can select a slice for a UE. Uh, I hope it was clear. 